Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this quick tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the Serial Monitor, which is a great tool that allows you to communicate with the ESP32 board. For example, we can display some messages under the Serial Monitor, which is this window. And by the end of this video, we'll be able to control the built-in LED by sending the message on. And that turns the LED on. So before we get started, as usual, make sure to smash the subscribe button, that helps me a lot. And without any further ado, let's dive right in. So here I'm inside the Arduino IDE, and I'm using the latest version, which is 2.0.2. So the Arduino IDE comes with a great tool that allows you to communicate with the ESP32 board and it is called the Serial Monitor with the new version of the Arduino IDE we can open up the Serial Monitor using this button and it is this window basically it allows you to send data from the computer to the ESP32 board so that we can control it or we can display some messages using serial.println Normally, we use it for debugging and testing. Of course, you need to make sure that the ESP32 board is connected to the computer through the USB cable. Then we have to begin the serial monitor. Under the setup function, we have to add serial. Dot begin. And this takes a baud rate like 115, 200. And you have to use the same number under this window. As you can see, 115, 200 is selected. Normally, we use this portrait for an ESP32 board. If you are using an Arduino board, we can select it 9600. Anyways, once you initialize or begin the serial monitor, we can display some data under this window. For example, we can display uh, some sensor uh, readings value so that we can test it. And to display a message, we use serial dot print alan or print and let's print hello arduino and that's pretty much it so it's very easy to use this serial monitor and you don't have to install any external libraries this tool is built in so let's try out our sketch before that you have to select the board and the port of the usb cable from this drop menu I've already selected the board, which is a Node MCU 32S and the COM6. You could go to Tools, then Board. If you have an Arduino, you could use it with the same way. In this tutorial, we are using an ESP32 board. Make sure to select the kind of board that you have from this list. Then the port. For me, it is COM6. You could get it from the Device Manager. So let's open up Device Manager and under Ports, you see I have COM6 of the ESP32 board. And if you haven't this already, I highly recommend you to watch my first video in which we have talked about the ESP32 board and how to set up the Arduino IDE to program this kind of board. Anyways, once you do that, let's select Upload. And when we get connecting, you have to hold down the boot key and that will start uploading the code. And there you go, it is done. Now if we open up the serial monitor, you see that we have the message Hello Arduino. Now let's make a small project by sending a message from the serial monitor to turn on and off the LED, which is connected to the GPIO pin number 2. And you could get the pin number from the pin now diagram. For me, it is connected to the GPIO pin number 2, the blue LED. The same thing, we have to begin the serial monitor using serial.begin with the same board rate. Then let's use the loop function. Each time we can check if we have received a message from the serial monitor using if serial dot available. And this is going to be true if we send a message. In such case, 
we can read it using serial dot read string to read a list of characters like on and off then we can store it in another variable so let's go up here and declare string let's call it cmd or command and we set it to uh, the serial.readString function then we can add another if statement to turn on and off the LED using if cmd equals the message on then we turn the LED on using digital write this takes the pin number which is 2 and the high keyword to send a voltage and turn the LED on but instead of entering this number directly it is recommended to use a variable so let's create a variable for that number using int LED pin equals to then let's pass it in as the first parameter and with the same way we can check using else if cmd equals the message of then we can use digital write LED pin and the low keyword to turn it off and that's pretty much it but I forgot to set the pin mode we have to go under the setup function and use pin mode it takes the pin LED pin and the output keyword because we have to tell this program that we're going to use this pin as an output so that we can control the LED sometimes we use some pins as inputs for example to read a sensor value and so on so let's hit upload again and under this console you see connecting let's hold down the boot key and there you go it is uploading and once it's done let's go to the serial monitor and we can hit enter to send the message so let's write on then enter but nothing happens and that's because a new line is added to the message so make sure to remove this option new line and change it to no line ending then let's try again using on and enter and there you go the LED turns on let's send the message off and yep it is working so I think that's pretty much it guys for this video I hope you like it if you have any question or comment make sure to write it under the comment section down below and I will see you in the next one